Okay. Uh, first of all, first of all, I gotta, I gotta advertise the guide I got. Check out the guide, 10 dishes in keto in the places where the locals eat them, the ones you must try when in keto. Buy it for four bucks or whatever it is, and then when you come to keto, you're gonna have 10 places to eat, and you're gonna be able to try the best food in keto, including a location in this market. This is in a keto market, and they serve up the best pork, which is right here. We're not doing a video about pork because I did it last week, and Sarah just still had to get a thing of it. So that's how good it is. Okay, let's go, video time. So, today's video is about potatoes. Potatoes in Ecuador. Potatoes are like such a big, big deal across the whole world. They say it's the third most important crop food in the entire world behind rice, wheat, and then potatoes. Before I get into all the details, all the information I have about potatoes, I'm gonna start eating some potato dishes here because I'm starving. We haven't had breakfast today and it's, I don't know, 10 o'clock or something. So we've ordered up a couple of different potato dishes. This one here is called, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Locro, locro de papa. Locro de papa is a soup. Locro, I think it comes from a quechua, 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 quechua. quechua. K-I-C-H-W-A. Locro, I believe, comes from a Quechua word. Uh, I'm not really sure what it means, but it, it's uh, used to refer to like stews or soups. Look how hearty that is. This looks so good. They've put some pork in it, but it doesn't necessarily have pork. Actually, usually it's a vegetarian dish. Let's throw the avocado in there. And this is blood. Obviously a dried blood of sorts. Muy I'm not sure. Muy rico? Is that what she said? She said, put it in muy rico. I guess that's how you rico up the dish. Mm, that's good. I like that. What this is basically is boiled potatoes. So just boil them down to almost nothing. And then add cheese, add avocado, and like they'll cook the cheese in it. There's milk in it as well and then they'll sprinkle some cheese on top. So it's kind of like a cheesy potato soup. Mm, muy rico. Suero, cuero. Cuero, this is called cuero de papa. Cuero means leather, but you can guess what it is. Pig skin. Not the most healthy thing. It's so tender though. Mm, it is super tender. I thought it'd be a little tougher. Kind of like a... Uh, pig skin they boil in the liquid for a long time until it gets soft and then they take the liquid and they add some potatoes See that sauce on it is pretty creamy has a little bit of peanut like peanut paste or something um, I don't know if I like it no it's uh, like potatoes are really good yeah but who wants to eat pork fat yeah I like can't that. eat that pork fat like, it's a working man's food right it's kind of unique because it was invented after Spanish colonization, but it's still an indigenous dish. It's not, it wasn't brought by the Spanish. But if you watched my video last week, I said that pigs didn't exist in South America until the Spanish brought them over. The Spanish would just skin the pig, and throw the, the pig skin away, and the locals, they're like, that's a waste of food. And they took it and they created this dish out of it. So, um, Potatoes, 8,000 years ago, around 8,000 years ago, the first potatoes were grown. Just north of Lake Titicaca in Peru, about a thousand miles from Ecuador. They say in Ecuador there are 350 different native varieties of potatoes, but you're only gonna find about 14 available in markets, maybe even less than that, uh, depending where you go. Most of them are grown higher than 3,000 meters above sea level. If the potato can handle that kind of condition, you're gonna be able to grow it without pesticides, and it's just because it's extreme conditions, the altitude, the, the wind, the, the freezing even. Like a potato plant, if it gets hit with frost, it can recover from that. Farmers nowadays are saying that it's getting harder to grow because of climate change. Per capita, Ecuador eats about 25 kilograms of potatoes per year. That's not much, really. That's nothing. That's about... Well, how much do the Irish eat? The English eat? I mean, yeah, they're nowhere close to the top. That's about half a kilo per person a week. There's a lot of other staple foods that they can eat here, so they don't have to eat them a lot. 
I guess. Yeah, they have a lot of greens. Yeah. Rice and quinoa. They eat, they eat way more beans than any other place I've ever been. Beans, yeah. I had the worst beans of my life yesterday. The worst? They're awful. They're like big. I don't know what they were. Like, um, kind of like a broad bean, you know? But they were flat and big. They were the worst beans I've had ever. Usually the beans. The skin was so tough. I've never. Like that's like a, that's a bad beef. Yeah. So Locra de Papa, almost guaranteed to have superchola potatoes. They're the most popular potatoes in Ecuador. The majority of the grocery store's potatoes are supercholo. We're gonna go over to the potato stand after this, and we're gonna have a look at what the else they have. We're also gonna go for a walk and try a couple more potato dishes. I promised Sarah a tour of potatoes. She lived in Ireland for a long time, so she's basically half potato. Actually, you'll be able to see as she eats the potato dishes throughout the day, she'll transform more and more into a, a potato. I also am gonna buy up some of the potato varieties and have a look at them, cook them at home, and try them and try to kind of show you the difference of the different different types of potatoes you can get here. So this is the potato section of the market. We're just like walking it, trying to find who has the kind of biggest variety, maybe something unique looking. This lady over here. Quanto veritas? Veritas? Quanto veritadas papas? Tengo cinco. Cinco? Aquí se venden cinco variedades. Quiero dos cara, dos cara veritadas papas. That's it. How do you say, what is, what is the name? Como se llama? Como chola. Se, chola, okay. Dos chola. Leona negra. Leona negra. Leona, Leona. <laughs> Chaucha. Chaucha. Es una papa blanda, suave, muy suave. Ah. Muy rica. Cecilia. Cecilia. Sí. Fritas? Sí. Sí. Es así, pelada. Ah. Es de la que está pelada. Sí. Capiro. 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 Papa dura, papa dura para ensalada mm. rusa. Okay. Ensalada con zanahoria, con arvejas, con manzana verde picada, ah. con mayonesa. Ajá, le mezcla. Okay. Y se sirve una ensalada fría. Y esta se le cocina y se le pica. Se le hace cuadritos pequeñitos. Oh, sí. Esta, esta vale dos. Sí, mi reina, tres libras, dos sí. dólares. Oh. Única. 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 Oh. Para papa frita. Ok. Para la salchipapa. Salchipapa. Yeah. Una, dos. Una o dos. Uno. Uh, uno. Tres, tres. 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 Tres, ok. Can I have a couple Yeah. Those are the big boys. We're going to take these home the end of the day and I'm gonna cook them up the best way that it should be cut up and Eso try them all. Tres dólares. Gracias, muchas gracias. It's the police on the bicycles. So we're right now we're in Carolina Park. Parque de Carolina. And this is like a big huge park in the center of the city probably one of the most popular biggest parks in Quito and there's lots right now it's a ball kick for you there's uh, lots of uh, sports going on we got some football some soccer over here we got some basketball over here there's a kids park over here and we just sat down and watched Equa Volley it's the national sport. I don't know if it's officially their national sport, but it's their sport that they invented. They only really play here. It's essentially volleyball, but uh, the net's a little higher and you're allowed to kind of 
hit it with your open hands up like that. Kind of a double tap, which is illegal in volleyball. That was fun. We watched it for like half an hour. We watched an entire game of these old guys playing. And this one big fat guy who was like really grumpy, just like yelling at his teammates, even though he was the slowest out of everybody. That was fantastic. So our next stop is, well, it's essentially the most popular potato dish in the world. Guess what the most popular potato dish in the entire world is? French fries. French fries, got it. They say something like, oh, I can't remember, I think it's like 60% of potatoes grown in America are turned into French fries. That might be wrong, I'll, the number will be on the screen. McDonald's. McDonald's is like literally like 7% of all potatoes go through McDonald's. So of course you can get french fries across the world anywhere uh, but the Ecuadorian version that we're going to try today is called salchi papas. Salchi for the word, word salchicha and papas for french fries. So they're combining sausage and french fries and that's exactly what it is. It's, uh, it's just like french fries with some deep fried hot dogs on top. So I don't know, I was hoping to find some in the park somewhere, uh, but we'll find some and uh, try it out. You fixed it? Oh, you're a savior. I just dropped my sunglasses and they broke, the lens popped out with Sarah, as handy as she is. Fixed it. I call her the cap of handy. You know what you have to do now. By you. Ah, oh, fine. <laughs> oh, look, there's some there. Salchi papa. We found a stand. I got excited. I jumped up and down, and then my glasses fell off my head. Buenos dias. Uno salchi papa. Si. French fries in. Boom. Sausage in. So there's a couple things that people put on these: ketchup, mayo, and then there's a sauce. It's called salsa rosado, and that is. It literally means pink sauce, and yeah, it's just a mix of those two. They actually, that sauce was created in Argentina at a golf club, and in Argentina they call it golf sauce. Okay, that looks good. This is only 25 cents. What is it? Is that the guy's urine? He's coming it over here. Si. Salad on top, bonus salad. Salt them up nicely, and then the wiener. Can't go wrong with a gracias. This is a tamale de papa. Tamale with, not with, of potato. Potato tamale. And a tamale originated in Mexico area. The Aztecs and the Mayans used to eat them, so it's a really old, old dish. And it was made with corn flour, like ground up corn, kind of steamed in a leaf. But uh, this potato version sounds amazing. Maybe. It's really tasty. I like it. And there's a um, like oniony, celery kind of meat on it. The meat's sweet though. Yeah, it's good with the ahi. Yeah, the ahi is really nice. I love that ahi. So the Ecuadorian version of the tamale. I mean, they do tamales here. They do a lot of Mexican food. They do a lot of food from other parts in South America. I wouldn't even say this is Ecuadorian. This is probably closer to Guatemalan. Guatemala is pretty famous for their tamales. Ooh, look at the cheese in that. This is actually similar to the Yaping Gaucho, which I showed a little bit last week. Mashed potatoes with white cheese in them and then grilled crispy. And that's a really famous potato dish. I didn't want to show it again though. They're all potatoed out. First time ever this area has been potatoed out. You should see her. She just looks like Mr. Potato Head right now. So we're going to go home. 
with our big sack of potatoes and we're going to go through the potatoes we got. I'll tell you a little bit more about them. I'm gonna cook them up a little bit, try them, and, and pretend to know what I'm talking about when I eat them. Yeah. Far when I'm by myself, I don't wanna hang around y'all. Pray for good health. One day I'm really gonna ball. Fuck around and buy the whole mall. Breaking that cake, flexing 700 in the bank. Not a superhero, I don't save. Look at my face, look at my grades. Don't match up, no love, we can take. I just fade when I hit the chain. 